Tiger wins in his first event of the year by eight shots in the US and opens his account here in Dubai with a 65 to lead after day one. Days two and three, he showed us that he's human after all, with a 71 and 73 respectively, and he trails the leader by four shots at minus seven. Tiger knew he had to get off to a fast start and duly delivered with a birdie at the first. After a par at the second, he pushed for the lead with excellent birdies on three and four to quickly move him into double figures. But it wasn't all plain sailing as he struggled on the difficult par four sixth. A bogey there meant he was two over for that hole this week and compounded that mistake with another drop on the ninth to go out in one under par 34. Ahead at the 10th, Tiger Woods, birdie par birdie so far on this hole, so he likes it. Doesn't like that one though, Ross. Oh, a little bit of a bump as it landed in the fringe grass. Tiger Woods stalking what would be his 86th worldwide win. Just joined Arnold Palmer on 62 wins in America. Fantastic record so far, and he's just 32 years of age. Birdie there, Woods up to nine under. Yeah, a difficult par four, one of the strongest holes on the back nine. A par always a pleasing figure. Uphill, second shot. Out of five iron, so it's a long hole, even by Tiger's strength. And that's going to leave him a awful chip downhill down grain not so much force needed here as deft touch oh i don't believe it it's a woods moment isn't it what a way to make a birdie three ten under here we go Incredibly, he's won six of the last seven events he's played in. He's got his work cut out here, though. The driver, if anything, has been his undoing this week. If he's not going to win, that'll be why. Second shot there at the par 5, 13th. It's not very often you can say that uh, Tiger Woods has not birdied a par 5 all week, and it's the case here at the 13th. He hasn't birdied this hole yet. Is it about to change? Oh, shot of a confident golfer, Ross. Oh, that's unbelievable. He only had 40 yards or so to go, and he got that one to stop on a firm green. Magnificent. This is what he does so well. When he has a sniff of the title, he just doesn't let go. Three birdies in the last four holes, and he gets to 11 under, two behind. Just a little punch with a eight iron. Flag back left and he's found yet another piercing iron shot. Such a talent. The Tiger at 14. Two bogeys in his round so far. 11 under, he's four under for this round, so six birdies and two bogeys. Never a dull moment. Shouldn't be a lot of break in this. Just down the left side, comes in. Oh, was it anywhere else? Right in the middle of the hole. Just look at that start on the back nine. Amazing stuff. <laughs> he didn't hang back on that, did he? He threw everything, kitchen sink, the lot at that one. Oh, pitches it on the green. Just runs off the left edge, but lives in a straightforward chip and run across the green. Par four, remember? 320 yards on the fly. You can be sure that this man is trying to hold his pitch. Just a fraction of the left to right, it's a good line. It's a good line. Oh! 
just the pace over doing that. Look how quick that green is. Slick greens here, aren't they? Over 12 feet on the stimp. Yeah, beautiful putting surfaces. This a little right to left. For a birdie. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 13 under. Tiger Woods leads by a shot. One hole to go, par five. Five wood. Tiger trying to cut this off the left edge of the green. See him aiming just left of the flag. That's where he started it. Flushed it high into the air. Oh, my word. Well, that's left a really awkward shot, and he knows it. This might sound strange, but Tiger Woods could knock this in the water if he's a bit too bold. Contact has to be perfect. Third shot. Disappointed. One yard, Stevie, he said. One yard further. And he would set up a closing birdie. Els then with the simplest of tap-ins. And he gets to 13 under. Tiger with a long putt down the green for a birdie on the last. Oh, this is treacherous. Slick left to right, downhill. And by my reckoning, this would be his 10th putt of the back nine. No. Yes! You can see what it means to him. Started the week with a 65. So you could say he tops and tails it. Another 65. Wow. He just can't keep him down. That's why he is so prolific in the winner's rostrum. The cream in the shape of Woods and Els finally rise to the top of the melting pot on this last day. Woods waits. Five wood second shot. Just by Monty's plaque. 236 yards to go. He's eyeing it up. It's online. Oh no, not again. Well, he got that little too high, too wafty, as they say. Caught the uh, wind. And it leaves Master Woods invincible still in 2008. It's a pretty neat finish, you know. I had to, I thought, shoot third in a back nine to force a playoff and uh, went out there and, and tried, to, tried to do the best I could and ended up shooting 31 and it just happened to be good enough. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here and to subscribe, click here.